Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the auction haul from the last auction footage that you saw. So I was getting a lot of um, comments that you guys did enjoy the voiceover when I did the auction footage. I had to do that because <laughs> um, they do play the music kind of loud during the auction preview, uh, which is kind of nice to have music, you know, it puts you in a good mood kind of thing, but it's hard to film with music. Um, otherwise you get like copyright strikes against your video. So that's why you have to do voiceovers whenever <laughs> there is music involved. Um, but I did personally also um, rather enjoy doing the voiceover with the um, auction preview footage because I feel like it gave me more of an opportunity to talk a little bit more about the items that I'm seeing and you know what they potentially sold for or what was popular or what I was interested in and stuff like that because when I'm actually there it's hard for me to really go into detail about um, prices and things that I'm really interested in because I don't want other people kind of like knowing what I'm interested in because if I see someone really like looking at something it's like makes me think oh hey what's that what has them so interested I'm gonna take a look myself kind of thing so um, I actually really enjoyed it as well so we'll see um, you know next time um, you know if they're playing music I'll continue to do voiceovers for those videos so I'm gonna share with you everything that Eric and I did win at this particular auction a couple things already sold so that's awesome so we're just gonna get right into it so the first thing that I got was these glasses um, there's more to them than just this glass, but I only brought one up with me so I don't have to carry so much. A lot of times um, at the auction, drinking glasses, some of them will be, you know, people will be interested in them and some of them people just kind of shrug off. And I've done really well with some drinking glasses that I've won at the auction in the past. So these came up and no one was really interested in them. I wasn't either at first. Um, but since no one else was, I decided to take them. The winning bid was just $2. Um, and it was a set of, I want to say, six of these. Um, you'll see it in my, in my listing. I can't remember exactly how many there were. There might have been eight. Uh, but they are a frosted glass. And they have a really pretty snowflake pattern to them with like a black diamond here at the top. So definitely an older drinking glass and they're like wintry themed in my opinion so perfect for Christmas and they're tall so two dollars for the set I figured I would take a chance on them I did put them up as a buy it now for $49.99 I think there's someone who has just two glasses listed for I think like $30 just for two glasses so I thought um, my asking price was pretty good for those, but you know, I may have to come down if they don't sell. The next item I got was a little bit, you know, something I don't normally pick up or I'm really interested in. Over in the box lot area, you saw there were some flats of McDonald's toys, and I feel like I see McDonald's toys a lot at the auction, and a lot of the times they're still even sealed in their baggies. There was a tray of the Madame Alexander dolls that were from McDonald's. There was two different years on the tray. There was um, 2003 and 2004. And there were also the variants in there as well. Um, let me grab a variant here. So for this one, it's a Mickey Mouse boy doll. And we have both the Caucasian and African American variant for those. So, you know, whoever was um, collecting these definitely, you know, wanted all of them in their collection. Um, so I decided to pick them up. I know Madame Alexander dolls, you know, some of them can sell pretty well, like the actual dolls. Um, I never really come across them, but, um, I decided to take a chance on these McDonald's toys and it seemed like some of them were selling pretty decently if you had, you know, um, a nice sized uh, collection of them. So these ones I have here are the 2004 dolls which is all of these and some of them are Disney there's like Mickey Mouse 
uh, Pinocchio, Jasmine, Cruella de Vil, and stuff like that. So more like Disney related this set was. Um, what did I say that was? 2000 and... I don't even remember now. 2004, Michelle. Um, so I paid $4 for the entire tray of the McDonald's toys. I put this set of the 2004 up as a buy it now for $29.99. Um, the 2003 set I actually let Eric take downstairs, uh, but I will, yee, this way, I'll post up a picture here so you can see. There's more in the 2003 set than there is in the 2004, but again, there are variants in there. And I put that one up as a buy it now for $39.99. All right, so the next thing, actually, and I say this all the time with when I go over auction winnings, that, you know, there might be one thing on a tray that I want, but I kind of get stuck with other pieces that maybe I didn't necessarily want or, you know, that I was really interested in at the time. So this is one of those pieces. This um, came with some other stuff that I won didn't know what it was at first I mean it was really interesting looking it has this like cut out here and it's just like a ring and it is marked made in Austria right here so this is a pansy ring you would use this to put uh, flowers in like a flower ring I thought that was really cool um, I won this like I said with some other items for a bit of $10 and these actually were selling pretty decently. So I listed this as a buy it now for $39.99. So I think that's a really cool piece. I've never seen anything like that before. So to go along with that, um, at my winning bid of $10, I also won this ice bucket. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. It's this gorgeous green glass ice bucket and it has a really pretty, um, kind of gold and floral design around the top there and it even comes with the tongs so that's really cute they look like that and yeah the the glass is um doesn't glow it doesn't glow the screen uh but i still thought it was absolutely beautiful i'm not even sure who the original maker was of it i don't see any kind of markings but i kind of fell in love with it so i won that with the pansy ring and I listed this on auction with a starting price of $49.99. I tried looking on Worth Point. I couldn't find it on there either. But some of these green glass just ice buckets in general um, were still selling pretty decently. So and I thought mine just had a really nice ornate kind of detailing to it. So we'll see if it sells or not. Next item I'm going to pop up here too. Eric won that vintage aluminum Christmas tree. That winning bid, we paid $125 for this Christmas tree. Absolutely gorgeous. He put it all together. All of the pieces are there and it comes in its original box. We listed that as a buy it now for $459.99. It does have a lot of watchers currently. Um, no one has purchased it yet but I am hoping it does go potentially before Christmas. Uh, next item, I was really interested in this piece here and I love the look of it. This is a blue frosted glass lady. She is nude um, and she's just sitting in like a pool or tub. Um, people have this described as a soap dish um, you could use it as like a trinket tray, obviously, or pretty much anything you want to use it for. But I I think it's probably a soap dish. Um, it has a very awesome like art deco type of style to it. And I just kind of fell in love with it and decided to take a chance on her. I did win her at a bid of $22. And I listed her up on auction with a starting price of $69.99. Um, the green version of this, that's uranium glass, sells really, really well. And I did not see any blue frosted glass ones listed, sold, or on worth point. So I'm hoping that means maybe she's a little more rare or desirable um, and that kind of thing. I mean, I think the color of her is absolutely gorgeous. 
So we'll see if she sells at that price. If not, I will post her back up as a buy it now. Okay, next, Eric won that large tray of Hershey's chocolate ornaments. We weren't going to bid on it, but he had like a little bit of um, a, a liking towards them, so he decided to bid. He won the whole tray for a price of $9, and one of them actually already sold. Uh, this was a lot posted up here. This was a lot of seven of the Hershey's chocolate ornaments and these were more like trains and signs. He listed those as a buy it now for $19.99 and they already did sell. So what Eric was doing um, when he was lotting these up, he kind of put the like stuff together. So um, I'm just gonna keep popping up the pictures here. This next lot is a lot of seven and these all had some form of like bottle brush tree on them, whether it was wreaths or something like that. Something that had that bottle brush uh, type of look to it. So he listed those up as a buy it now for $19.99. Next lot was a 20 piece lot. This was pretty much like all the stuff that didn't really go to anything. Um, just a mishmash of all the rest of them and listed that as a buy it now for $35.99. Next we have a lot of four and these were all Hershey's Kisses. Um, he listed those as a buy it now for $12.99. And then the last two that I have here um, are these ones here and these were listed together as well. Um, these are also by Kurt Adler. I don't think I mentioned that, um, but Kurt Adler did make these ornaments. Um, these ones are angels. It's a man and a lady. And these are all like the chocolate, the chocolate makers. And they have little angel wings. And they do still have their tags as well. It just says Hershey's official licensed product. And on the back, 2001 um, Kurt S. Adler. So we put these together as a lot for a buy it now of $9.99. So, you know, Christmas is coming. So hopefully the rest of those sell. You know, people, people like different things. There might be some people out there who have a chocolate themed Christmas tree. I know numerous people who put up more than one tree in their home and each one is themed. So th that does happen. I, I could not do that. I just, mm -mm. one tree, decorating one tree is enough for me. <laughs> okay, this next item I actually already showed, I think, in another haul, but it came from this auction and you saw it in the footage. It was that vintage blue angel. We won that in that tray lot um, that you saw in the video for a bid of $3 and I sold the angel for $29.99. Okay, next item we have is this bowl here. This is a McCoy pottery bowl. It's got this really pretty green um, ribbed design. I think they call this beehive and it is marked on the bottom there. Um, really nice mixing bowl. I mean, you could use this as a mixing bowl. You could use it as like a bowl to put fruit in and that kind of thing. So I paid $22 for this bowl. I just really liked it. Um, maybe I paid too much for it, I'm not sure. But I did list it as a buy it now for $69.99. So old McCoy, McCoy in general, like the vintage pieces can sell pretty decently. And I thought this was just a really neat piece. So I decided to take a chance on that. Some things I just take chances on, especially if it's stuff that like I don't typically sell or I don't typically pick up. I still like to try it every once in a while. Try something different and see what happens. Same with these next two pieces. Uh, there were, I think, three lamps at the auction that had these beautiful um, Chech glass lampshades on them. The lamp sold for around a hundred, some a hundred plus dollars. 
Um, and then they had a bunch of just the shades. I was more interested in the shades just because the lamps I figured probably would be more of a pain in the butt to ship. I don't mind shipping stuff like that, but <laughs> sometimes I get a little hesitant about it when I'm putting a lot of money into it kind of thing. It scares me slightly um, just in case anything were, would to, were to happen. But um, like I said, they had some of just the shades for sale. So I decided to bid on some of the shades. So the first one that I won was this one. And they call these end of day lamps or end of day lamp shades. I had never heard of these before. Um, and I always say that's like the really awesome thing about auctions is I learn so much. Um, if you really put in the time to do your research on items that you've never seen before or don't really know much about, you can, you really learn a lot of things. So I learned all about these lampshades and these lamps called end of day. So this one here is just a really pretty round green, greenish yellow, I would say, splatter type design to it. It is glass, chech glass. Um, very, very gorgeous. I did pay $45 for <laughs> this lampshade, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $149.99. So I did see one on Worth Point that looked very, very, very pretty much the same as this one sell for around that price. So that's what I went with on that one. Currently, I'm the, uh, I think I'm the only one with that particular color and one listed. Same with the next one. This one here was my favorite and I'm so glad that I won this one because I thought this one was the coolest looking one. So this one is also kind of got like a splatter style look to it, multicolored. Uh, but this one is in the, what they call starburst design. Absolutely beautiful. I, whew, I love it. I wish now I had a lamp to put this on. It's so gorgeous. I did win this one at a bid of $70. So I did pay a little bit more for this one, but it's worth more. Um, I listed mine as a buy it now for 279 or no, <laughs> more than that, $299.99. Um, one sold for that price, so I would obviously like to get that much for mine, but we'll see if I do or not. But absolutely gorgeous lampshades. Next, I have a stack of Marilyn Monroe magazines. Um, this person, whoever stuff this belonged to at the auction, they definitely collected a lot of Marilyn Monroe memorabilia. Um, this magazine in particular, if you ever find this specific Life magazine with Marilyn Monroe on it, it is the April 7th, 1952 edition. These can sell for a lot of money. Unfortunately, this one does have some water damage to it, so I don't think I'm going to get as much for it as... Ooh, that was a cha-ching. As much for it as I could if it had been in better condition. I did win the bid on these. It's a stack of magazines for $45. Um, but there is a couple more magazines involved here. So I put this one on auction with a starting price of $59.99. But like I said, if it were in better condition, it could sell for... Um, a decent amount. So definitely keep your eye out if you ever see stacks of vintage life magazines. Look for this one specifically. And then there were four more of the life magazines. These all have Marilyn Monroe on the cover. Um, I decided to just list these as an entire lot just in case, you know, someone who is a Marilyn Monroe collector might just want all of them. So I'll go over them. Um, on the quicker side. This one here is from 1981. This one is, and I think, no, it might not be that one. 1981. This one's 1982. This one is a thinner one. This was a Remember Marilyn that came out in 1972. And then this one I feel like sells pretty decently as well. Obviously not for as much. This one is from 1959. So I listed these all together um, and I put them up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. And I feel like 
this one alone is worth that much so we'll see I sold I sold a snowman gourd okay um next I have more stuff to share with you guys that I'm gonna pop up here um Eric had won a bunch of these old antique what they call chocolate molds there was a whole table of them you saw that in the footage video so we went ahead and did our research to figure out which ones were worth the most money some of them we couldn't find at all but decided to take a chance on so this first one that i'm showing already sold this one was a cupid riding a lion i mean how awesome is that right um, Eric won this at a bid of $20 and already sold it for $99.99. So these are cast iron molds if you would ever happen to come across them. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised because typically these molds at the auction go for way, way, way higher. Um, it was choice on these. Um, so you could take as many as you wanted at the $20. So we took a couple at the $20 bid. Uh, next one also already sold. This was um, Puss in Boots. It was a cat in a boot. Won that at a bid of $20 and sold for $149.99. The rest that I'm going to share with you, I'll let you know what I paid and you'll see what we have them listed for. These have not sold yet, but they do, they do have watchers. There are people out there who collect these things. Um, the next one is a frog on like an old-fashioned bicycle. Won that at a bid of $20, and that is listed for a buy it now of $105.99. Next one was just some squirrels. Won that at a bid of $20, and listed that as a buy it now for $139.99. Next we have three ducks. Won that at a bid for $20, and that is listed as a buy it now for $109.99. Next were um, some rabbits, won that at a bid for $20 and have them listed as a buy it now for $105.99. And the last one that we won was a turkey. We took that since Thanksgiving's coming up. We won this one at a bid of $15. So the bid went down a little bit after we took the good ones, <laughs> or at least what I, what I deem, what we deemed the good ones. Um, one that had a bid of $15 and that one is listed as a buy it now for $105.99. So there were other ones. I can't remember. Someone took them at the next bid and then they just took all the rest. And I remember Eric was saying he wished that he had just taken all of the rest of them, but we didn't really know at the time. We had never sold these cast iron chocolate molds before. So we didn't really know what to expect, like how long they would be sitting and that kind of thing. Like we didn't know how much money we really wanted tied up in these things since we've never sold them before. But in the future, we probably would at, you know, a decent price, um, you know, invest in them a little bit. All right. So I also won a tray of vintage vanity jars and hair receivers and things like that again not something i typically pick up so this is new to me territory um so i went ahead i didn't get them all listed yet but i went ahead and listed the ones that kind of go together so these are a really heavy thick glass jars that have these really pretty tops that already have a nice patina to them so this one is just like your typical lidded jar. You can put anything in that, um, hair ties, jewelry, that kind of thing. And then this one is what they call a hair receiver. So back in the day after girls and ladies brushed out their hair, um, they would take the hair that collected in the brush and like shove it into these jars and then they'd use that hair to make stuff. I think pin cushions to use it to make like pin cushions and stuff like that. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Again, not something I normally pick up, but I love vintage beauty related items. So I decided to uh, take a chance on the tray. I paid $32 for the tray. <clears throat> I listed these two up together. Um, on auction with a starting price of $29.99. So these are, as I stated, new territory for me. 
Uh, the next set on that tray were these ones. And again, just a really thick, heavy um, glass. And these ones have more of like a plastic celluloid type of um, lid to them. So this lot I listed together. So you have your regular jar. This one is the hair receiver jar. And then this one is just a smaller jar. And this one kind of has a, fl a flower print on it. You can see ever so slightly. The other ones don't have that, but to me it looked like they still went together. So I listed those on auction with a starting price of $39.99. Next thing we have also came from the back of the auction in the box lot area. I wanted to bid on a tray of... Um, it was just vintage camera related stuff. There was film on there, expired film, but there was one film in particular I was interested in if I could get the tray for a low price because it was selling well and it already sold. So I won the tray of, of expired film for $4. I will put up the one that sold. This was a Kodak um, film, brand new, still sealed, but I think it expired in 1997. That sold for $29.99, so that was a really quick sale, which I figured it would be. That's why I wanted to win the tray. Um, and then I'll share some of the other stuff that I listed off of that tray. This is a pack of Polaroid um, Instant Film. This expired in 1997, but it is still sealed. People do buy expired film. Um, listed this as a buy it now for $15.99. These two packs were on the tray as well, brand new, still sealed, but expired in 1997. These are Fujifilm. Um, these ones I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I didn't list everything on that tray, but this was also on the tray. It was a vintage Fujifilm fanny pack. <laughs> So I thought that was interesting. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $15.99. There's one other listed. Someone has theirs listed for $20. So um, listed mine for cheaper. There was a whole shelf of Halloween items. Um, most of the most of the stuff on that shelf I think went for like way too much money. Um, I did take him. Nobody wanted him and I thought it was really cute. So I got him. This is Daffy Duck. Um dressed like Frankenstein and he still had his tag on him so I grabbed him at just one dollar because nobody wanted him and I listed him as a buy it now for fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents. This was also on a tray with other stuff and it's this here. This is a little salt glazed um, jar crock. It still has its original tag in there. It's by Jamestown Pottery has a pretty blue bird on the front and it is signed on the bottom. Um, I won this, like I said, with some other stuff. Um, I think it might have also um, been with the ice bucket and the pansy ring. Um, and I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99. Okay, next we have, oh my gosh, there was a bunch, trays upon trays of these little vintage, I'll share with you the ones that I have right here, these little vintage um, pieces, These they're like miniatures basically, they are called elfenware, made in Germany, I never knew about these before some of you guys might already be familiar with elfenware it was new to me i had no idea what it was um the trays weren't selling for much so i decided to just take a chance and and just do do the dang thing right so i won a bunch of elfenware um all together i paid 30 dollars for i'd say i got four or five trays of this stuff for 30 dollars which i thought was a pretty good deal um, I'm in the process of lotting them all up of like ones together type of thing. So I'm going to pop up a picture of the first lot that I have. These are all white in color with like an opalescent style look to it. 
Um, there's 11 pieces I put up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. Some of these pieces um, people are selling for like $6.99 a piece, basically, just singly. So I figure, you know, maybe if someone likes to sell elfin wear, maybe they'll buy it and then part it out themselves. And, you know, they can make more off of it if they sell it singly. Um, I also listed this lot. And these, again, they're elfin wear. But they also call these ones moss wear because of the look to them. It, look, it looks like they're kind of covered in moss. And you see on the bottom it says Elfenware Germany. They don't all say Elfenware, but they all are marked Germany. So this one here is a little heart-shaped trinket box. Um, this one is a little pitcher or vase. And then this one is a um, like watering style picture. So I put those all three together and the Mossware ones tend to sell a little higher. Um, so I listed those on auction again with a starting price of $39.99. So we're going to see if Elfenware sells or not. So just gonna take a chance on them. I also won a tray of teacups. I only listed one so far, and it was the main reason that I wanted the tray. I won the tray for a bid of $12. There was this really pretty teacup on. This is a Limoges teacup. Um, Gosh, how do you pronounce that? Demi-taste, demi tasse Alexa, how do you pronounce D-E-M-I-T-A-S-S-E? -S -S -E? I pronounce that demi -tass. I'm always working on how I say things and I might not have it right. Okay, so it's more like a demi tasse cup. And the saucer looks like this, very pretty mint green. It is marked Limoges, France. And then it does have the little matching um, demi tasse cup. And then on the inside here, it says La Cremelaire. Obviously, that's French. Um, so I'm not sure. It feels like it's a sticker. So I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, but it is also marked there on the bottom. So I listed this on auction with a starting price of $39.99. I didn't see any that looked just like that. So I, I just went with that. And then on another tray of just random um, glassware and stuff like that, I won again for $12. I saw this Limoges piece and I thought this was really pretty. Um, it just has like a handle here. This would be really cute if you're having like tea or something like that. Just to put like little, um, you know, finger snacks on or that kind of thing. And it is marked Limoges on the bottom of that as well. So I listed this on auction with a starting price of $25.99. We are on to some purses. I won, I did win, I should say, I did win that silver mesh Whitting and Davis purse that you saw in the footage. Um, I won that for a bit of $15. I did not get that listed yet, but it will be listed soon and I will share that with you in a, another haul video. Um, but also I won three vintage purses. Again, something I'm taking a chance on. I don't really know a whole, whole much about them or, you know, how well they sell, but it's something that I'm interested in. So I like to, I like to list and bid on stuff that I, I personally enjoy. So I did win three of these vintage purses for a bit of $30, which is on the high side for me, I think. But um, I think this one here is quite a gem. So this blue one with all of these beads, and then it has a wrist strap. So you would just, you know, hang it off your wrist like this. Very flapper style. Oh my gosh, so cool. And this is heavy. I mean, it's a heavy purse with all these beads. And then the interior looks like this. There are some issues. I mean, this thing is really old. Um, 
I I listed this high. I listed this as a buy it now for $99.99. Someone has pretty much this exact same purse listed for $158. So I think that's a little high, but um, we'll see if mine goes for that price or not. I just, like, I don't know how big the collector community is for vintage purses but we shall see i just i had to i had to i wanted it for this bag in particular i think it's so awesome so we'll see if that goes the next bag looks like this and this one's really cute too this is also a black beaded bag and it has this piece here on the back that looks like this so you would put this on through your belt so it would sit you know kind of like a fanny pack but it's you know really pretty um purse the zipper does say made in czechoslovakia and then when you open the bag it does have a little tag in here that says made in france so it's definitely older uh, i did list this one as a buy it now for 49 dollars and 99 cents so we'll see if they sell they're really gorgeous bags i do have one more don't have it listed yet but again you'll see it in another haul that one does have some issues so it will probably be listed way way cheaper than these other two okay and that brings me to that's everything for the auction stuff but i did get some of that jewelry listed from that box of jewelry and i wanted to share those with you just in case anyone is um looking for something specific this is all i have listed so far so you didn't miss out on anything um but i did just want to share with you guys what i ended up listing and for how much so far so the first thing I listed were the Anne Klein earrings. These ones had the lion heads. Um, when I looked these up, surprisingly, these Anne Klein lion head earrings sell really well. Um, I listed mine for a lot cheaper than what other people have theirs listed for. Um, but I listed these on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I did list one of the tennis bracelets. It was this one here, the green with the white. This is marked 925. Um, put this up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I listed this necklace, this pretty blue stone necklace. Um, put this again up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I listed this necklace here. This is a Cookie Lee, and it's just a long um, strand necklace. Uh, listed this as a buy it now for $9.99. I got up the Laurel Birch earrings. Look like this. They have a pretty little lotus flower on. These I put up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. These do have a bid. Um, I listed up this set. So this was that pretty blue um, bracelet. And then it had matching earrings. So I put these up as the set for a buy it now of $12.99. I listed the Boyd's Bears um, pin. This one is of an angel with a, holding a key. Um, that is a buy it now of $5.99. I listed the 1928 pin. This brand was also selling pretty decently. Um, put that on auction with a starting price of $9.99. I listed this ring here. This one was an Avon ring. Has three black stones. It will fit up to a size 7 um, finger and I listed that as a buy it now for nine dollars and ninety nine cents I listed the little scissors pin it says to be cute for a hairdresser or someone in crafting that is a buy it now of nine dollars and ninety nine cents and then I listed these bohemian glass black like cluster earrings they are for pierced ears and those I have listed as a buy it now for $9.99 as well. 
So that's all the jewelry that I have listed so far. I'm trying to get everything up, but I have been, anything that's not still on its original packaging, I've been putting through my jewelry cleaner um, just to get it nice and cleaned up and sparkly. <laughs> so that's kind of taken me a while to get to get through. But um, yeah, I have um, a really, I forget where Eric got it. Um, I got it for Christmas one year. It's like an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. You just put water in it. And then when you turn it on, it vibrates um, ever so slightly and it like helps get any kind of like dirt and stuff off of things. I actually use it to clean my eyeglasses as well. Uh, it works really, really nice. But um, yeah, so that's everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. One more thing. <laughs> I forgot this was sitting here. Um, I won this drawstring bag full of like jewelry bags at um an auction recently so yeah i have some cute little um velvet bags to put some of my jewelry in that sells so i want i wanted to show you guys i was so excited for this i was like oh i have like a bunch of jewelry so i'm gonna nab those so i took them you have to let me know what you thought down in the comments um what you thought like the coolest thing was if you learned anything um from any of the stuff that i shared with you today and that kind of thing i like knowing that i'm helping you guys that's why i do these videos um i could easily just you know not make them and just keep all the information that i have but i like to share it with everyone else because i like to learn and i like you know not necessarily teaching, but kind of like teaching, you know, what I know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.